This is a replica of ancient Chinese makeup. Look at how stunning that packaging is. Even included details on each product. This is a powder based on a product from the Qing Dynasty. He said they would call this duck egg powder, literally just because it's shaped like a duck egg. Packaging is so pretty. And inside, how gorgeous. Oh my God, it smell, kind of smells like peaches. It smells so good. I need a perfume like this powder. Oh my God, it's getting everywhere. <laughs> That really did blur and make the skin look like velvet. Okay, on to the next. Okay, this one is for the eyebrows. Are you kidding me? I am amazed at the quality of these replicas. How beautiful. Oh, how strange. That's for the eyebrows. It almost looks like wax. She said the women in the palace would use this to draw their eyebrows on. So I guess this was really for royalty. Now there are many different styles of eyebrows throughout ancient China and the different dynasties, but I highly recommend you follow Mochi Hanfu. Amazing. I'm just gonna try to draw them the way I usually do. This will definitely work better if you have eyebrow hair because it's very waxy, but I think I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to play with this one. I did do a little modern concealer around it, but this, I love the way my brows turned out. I'm gonna play with this more. This product was used for blush. That is so pretty. Inside is a pink blush. Ooh, that's pigment. There are many different styles of blush techniques in ancient China as well. I'm just going to apply this on my apples. That is such a beautiful color. Oh my I can't find the note for this one. I think maybe it was like a cream rouge, which I already put powder on, so I kind of messed up on that one, but again, the packaging. Hello. I've tried ancient Chinese lipstick paper, but I've never seen any with this texture. It's almost like it's on a piece of fabric. Dampen with water or together, and you're left with the most beautiful red stain. I wonder if this product was based on cinnabar because the color inside looks like a very orange red. Now I believe you could use this as Huadian, which Mochi shows all the time, but I'm just going to try this on my lips. Texture is so interesting. It's almost sticky. I think it's best to just dab on the lips, but that color, okay, I added a little of this on the cheek. 